All right, I'm going to show you the dry ingredients first. You're going to have your flour, your baking powder, and your salt. Now, when I roll it out, instead of using flour, I'm going to use confession sugar or powdered sugar. Now for the wet ingredients, milk, one egg, sugar, and butter. What I'm going to do is cream all of this together first, and then I'll add this in. Now for the chocolate, this will be melted and put into half of the dough because you're going to have one that is white and the other one is chocolate. Now you're more than welcome to use cocoa powder, but I want to use this here because it's not only sweet, but it's creamy to where you can work it in your dough. The first thing you want to do is cream together your sugar and your butter or your vegan spread. So I like to kind of break this up first and then add the sugar in. you want to add in your egg and your milk and cream that together. Now we take all the dry ingredients and mix them together. Your salt and your bacon powder. All right, now you gradually want to add your flour. You don't want to put it all at once. Remember, we only put a tablespoon of the milk. Make sure you have it on low speed, which is number one. And gradually add your flour. The dough is ready so now I'm going to separate into two parts on a parchment paper and then you want to leave it in your refrigerator for about an hour to hour and a half till the dough is firm. All right this is how it looks. I'm just going to take half and put it on the wax paper. And the other half on the other. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and flatten it out so that when you remove it from the refrigerator, it'll be nicely firm where you can roll it out on your powdered sugar. Just like that. So that's the first one. Then you take the remaining and you do the same. Okay, now we just put both of these in the refrigerator for about an hour to two hours. Make sure that it's really firm. All right, it's been an hour and a half. Now I'm gonna work each dough separately. All right, now in the first batch, you wanna just take one teaspoon of vanilla and you wanna work that in. You can use your hand or a spoon or what have you. Just make sure that you mix it in well. Now the other half of the dough, you want to just melt your chocolate, or you can use powder, doesn't matter, and mix it in. I'm going to break it up a little bit. Alright, there you have it. Now what you want to do, just lay it on a parchment paper, and then take another one, and then you want to roll it out. Okay, and then we're going to do the other one. So just take 
and roll out. All right, so there you have it. Just like that, just roll it out. Sorry about that. Just roll it out like that, and then we're going to lay the other part on top, but we want to roll that out first, and then we lay it on top. So what you want to do is just take this and put it to the side. You can put it in the refrigerator, just keep it firm, which I'm going to do on the bottom, and then I'm going to work on the other one. All right, now we're going to place this one here and do the same. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and lay this on top of the chocolate. The chocolate or the vanilla. It doesn't matter if you put the chocolate on that or the vanilla on the chocolate. Now doing this, you want to be very careful that you don't break your dough. Okay, so the best way to do it is to just lay it on top gently. Gently. Just like that. Okay. Now, if it seems like it's getting a little bit, you know, soft, then you want to put it in the refrigerator so that you can really work it. So what you want to do, you want to press it together. Just press it in. All right, now I'm ready to roll it out. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you flour your area with powdered sugar because you don't want to add more gluten to your gluten flour. Okay, remember I'm using all-purpose flour. Okay, so now we're going to remove this and we're going to roll it out. some on top. It's not going to hurt. Okay, now we want to roll it. So just keep rolling it. Now once you've rolled it, you want to put it on some parchment paper and roll it again and put it in your refrigerator for about an hour until it's firm and then you slice it and then we're going to bake it. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and remove the paper, the wax paper, and we're going to slice. Now, if you don't want to use all of it, you can wrap it up and freeze it up to six months. Yes. So I normally like to start down in the middle and make sure you have a knife that will cut with teeth. Okay, see how beautiful. And cut about a quarter inch. Now lay them on your cookie sheet. And you want to bake it at 375 between 12 and 15 minutes. So this is how it looks.